My name is Coley Plaster and I am a senior in college. For my final year in college, I wanted to do something memorable and exciting. Something beyond sitting in a class, taking notes, and studying for tests. Ever since I was old enough to get my driver's license, I've driven everywhere. Getting around in my car is all I've ever known. But I wanted to try something new and see if I could make it 30 days without using my car. Natchitoches is a rural, small town with zero public transportation. Despite the lack of any bike lanes, a lot of people still use bikes to get around town. The first thing I needed to do was to get my hands on a bike. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> <laughs> I documented my month like any good Gen Z student would by making lots of TikToks. Here's day one of only using a bike to get around town. Big blueberry bagel for breakfast. Gotta hit him with the fresh OJ before I hit the uh, campus. This is September 1st, uh, it's Thursday. I'm heading to campus. It's about, about a mile to get there, so it should be pretty chill. The weather feels really great this morning. Um, I still, it feels a little weird because I'm, I'm not like click, it's not clicking with me that I'm really doing this. Campus. I'm to put it simply, I was unprepared. It's about a mile, but I'm in not as good shape as I thought, and I'm really dehydrated. I'm walking the bike right now. Um, I know I've got a water bottle over on my office on campus, but I didn't bring one with me and I am starting to regret it quite a bit. Um, I haven't thrown up yet, which is good. And my day took a lot more planning to make sure I was getting where I needed to be on time. I'm going to school. It's, uh, what, I don't know, like nine in the morning, eight in the morning. I'm going to school, had my breakfast and the light is green. My legs are tired. I'm kind of sore. I need more water all the time. I want to eat food all the time. I just need a break. I'm a busy guy. I'm a full-time student, manage the campus radio station, and also have a part-time job on the grounds crew at the local golf course. Okay, so this is a great question. Uh, in the last, well, it's day seven now, so in the last week, how many miles have I ridden? Based off the quick math that I've done, and it's very rough, it's about 23 miles, which isn't that bad. It wasn't always easy especially when I had to ride the three and a half miles home late at night. But there are no street lights this entire, uh, this entire high stretch of highway. It's just the headlight that I've got and the reflector that I've got on the back that's blinking. Once we get to where the street lights are, this becomes a whole lot safer. I'm kind of on a back road, um, but obviously you can see just how much brighter it is here. Riding at night was kind of scary. Sharing the road with cars, hoping they would see me and give me plenty of space. I had to change other things about my life too, like how I got all my food. We're on low battery tonight, but tonight's stop is the super one that is actually on my way home from work. So it's pretty convenient. I'm pretty used to heading to Walmart and getting just like bunches of groceries at once, but I'm kind of on a bike. I'm getting a lot more used to stopping into a store and grabbing two or three things that can fit in a backpack. Um, you know, sometimes more, sometimes less, but 10 or 12, $15 a trip. So that's what I'm looking at today, just to get a few small things for dinner tomorrow. Five bucks later, I've got some bananas, uh, two bell peppers, and an onion, just enough to throw in some rice with some sausage that I've already picked up. After a while, I really started to get the hang of life without a car. You can't really see my face. Um, today is day 15, which means I'm cleanly halfway through the month, and they say it takes two weeks to make a habit, so maybe this is a habit now. While riding around, I tried to stop other cyclists and ask about their experiences. Um, I don't know, have like, I don't know, in Australia they have like side, actual bike paths instead of us having to like dodge pedestrians and cars, yeah. How does my college town not have bike lanes? Some roads were lucky enough to have sidewalks, but nowhere in town was there a single bike lane. I do have to stay on the sidewalk the entire time because this road gets fast further down and uh, it's not at all safe for cycling on. Along with that, it's a chore most places just to get across the street. But there are no walk signals. There is no sidewalk built in here. It's space that should be accessible to cross, but you deal with red lights, green lights, left-hand turn lights, um, right turns on reds, that uh, it's really not safe to get across here. I don't think it would be that difficult to put in um, a 
the crosswalk here and it would really benefit everyone getting from this neighborhood over to Kane's, Arby's, the hospital, um, and shops over here. I would never have noticed these things if I hadn't been living without my car. But I discovered that Natchitoches had been working for years to upgrade the infrastructure and that change might soon be coming. Looking in the future for bike share and pedestrian mapping and master planning, Accuracy is going to look completely different and it's going to be awesome. Uh, we'll have bike lanes everywhere, uh, shared medians, shared spaces, uh, bike share, racks, uh, the whole nine yards, which is going to increase mobility for students on campus here, but also Natchitoches residents as well and tourism. I was so close to finishing my month without a car, but on day 28, I got pretty sick. And honestly, I was ready to go back to my car and give my legs a break too. But I did have a new appreciation for my town. I got a different perspective on life, slowed down and smelled the roses a little bit. Even though I didn't make it the full 30 days, it was still a month that I will not soon forget.